Over 45% of produce is lost or wasted in the post-harvest supply chain every year. This is largely due to over-ripening and suboptimal storage room conditions. To try lowering this waste, companies have begun implementing practices to measure the health of fresh produce and predict the ripeness in advance to prevent it all from happening. Before we go any further, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Each time that thumb turns blue, it helps YouTube to know to show this video with more people. Without any more delay, these are the top five industry ways to measure produce health and predict ripeness in fresh produce. Number five, human sensory. This involves opening up the cool room to take samples of the produce. This is often known as a five part test as it involves our five senses, including sight, observing the color and shape, smell, things like strength, taste, sweet, sour, hearing, what it sounds like when it's open or eaten, and feeling, is it hard or soft? Produce is then graded and compared to normal levels to determine if it is in a healthy state. Pros, it's fast and requires little to no equipment. Cons, it cannot forecast ripeness. And number four, gas chromatography. Also known as a GC test, a sample of air surrounding the produce is taken and analyzed according to the levels of ethylene it has in it. Ethylene is an organic compound released by produce when it begins to ripen and it's currently the most accurate way to determine the health of fresh produce. Most countries like America require companies to test and report on their produce to ensure the high quality. This is done through a GC test and enforced by the FDA and USDA. For more information on how the GC machine works, check out this video we did here. Pros, highly accurate and known as the gold standard for health detection. Cons, slow to get results back, often resulting in spoiled produce. The cost of the machinery is high and requires a scientist to operate or contracting an external laboratory which further delays results. Number three, CO2 or respiratory. Fresh produce can breathe in oxygen and out carbon dioxide just like humans. We can measure the ripeness stage of apples, for instance, by measuring the amount of oxygen they are respirating as it changes depending on their ripeness stage. Pros, accurate at measuring produce health and it's non-invasive. Cons, you can't forecast ripeness stages accurately and it takes a lot of time to test. Number two, refractometer. A refractometer measures the refraction of light through a liquid. When certain produces like pears, tomatoes, and berries begin to ripen, their sugar level increases and makes the liquid more solid. By placing some of the produce's liquid over the lens, we can measure the level at which light reflects. This gives us a current ripeness level according to the sugar volume. Pros, accurate at measuring current health and ripeness. Cons, does not predict future ripeness levels and is invasive. And number one, environmental sensor. Environmental sensors measure the oxygen, carbon dioxide, temperature, pressure, and ethylene down to one part per billion of the atmosphere surrounding the produce. By measuring 24 seven and relaying this information back to an AI system, it can quickly spot patterns and increases, allowing ripeness predictions to be made up to nine months in advance. The more data points you can get, and the more often you get them, equates to more accurate results and predictions. Pro, most accurate health and ripeness prediction system in the world. It can automate temperature, humidity, oxygen, and ethylene levels according to loadout times, saving the industry hundreds of billions of dollars in wasted produce. As it's a new and painted technology, wait times for this technology can be up to 12 months. For more information about the environmental sensor, click here. And as always, if you've liked this video, show your support by turning the gray thumb blue. Thank you.